Hello, 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 it's Dolly and I am back with Mini Kit Monday for the month of October. And we have a special inspiration for this month brought to us by Janet over at RTS Scrapbooking. We just love her, us Mini Kit Monday ladies. We reached out to her to ask her if we could do a 4 for 4 series and she said yes. So then our next question it was, will you provide us the paper cuts? And she said, of course. And I will cut my paper with this video because there's four weeks in the month, or four Mondays, I'm sorry, um, in the month of October and we've got to do four layouts for the 4 for 4 series so this video not only do I need to reveal my kit to you I must cut my papers up so this video will be just a little bit longer but if you do not know Janet over at RTS scrapbooking I will have her link listed below. You must go check her out. She is awesome. They also have a Facebook group, but it is ran by a different lady. And it's called Love RTS. And I will have that information as well listed below along with all the Mini Kit Monday ladies. All right. First objective is to pick your inspiration piece to pick your pattern papers and background paper. My inspiration piece is coming from Close to My Heart. This is an older collection that was released in 2018. It is not available anymore, but I will give you the name. It's called Grateful Heart. And then just a little tidbit, I am a Close to My Heart consultant and I will have the link listed below if you're interested in purchasing any products. That's going to be it for that little tidbit. So that's my inspiration piece, which led me to select this piece from Vicki Booten, the Wild and, I think it's Wild and Honey, right? If I'm wrong, I'll put the correction below. So that's my second sheet of paper that I will be cutting up. This is from Echo Park, Summer Adventures. It was released in 2019. This is a wood grain. And then this is from Simple Stories, Autumn Splendor. And it was released in 2019. So those four papers I will cut up and you, we will get to that in a minute. These will be my base papers and this is my bonus paper right on top. This is from Ella and Viva and it's a wood background number two and I don't remember the date. I think it's still available like at scrapbook.com. I love this white wood grain. So that's my bonus paper. These will be my 12 by 12 base background papers. So we have pink paisley again and again number four and I selected it for this wood grain side. We have three papers from Bow Bunny and it is from their mixed paper collection released in 2009. So we have this beautiful orange, yellow, and green. The opposite side is just as gorgeous. Look at all those flowers. Eat your heart out, Janet, if you are watching. This is definitely killing me to, um, you to um, not waste. It's not wasting. I'm using it, but I may have to go back and purchase these papers again so that I can use them to cut up and place on layouts. I would not use the entire pattern for a layout, but I would love, I love flower motifs. So, but I'm using this side. So these four sheets of paper, actually this fifth one for now, unless I use it either for a background or I use it because my other papers that I cut up quite don't go together, mix match together. So that is the paper selection. All right, off to the embellishments. First, we'll start with the larger. All right, 
I have some bits and pieces from Saturday afternoon, one canoe two, and these are wood veneer base pieces. I think I can make most of this work, maybe not the strawberry, but the green and everything should go with the papers that I selected. I had out um, this chipboard from Echo Park. This was gifted to me at a retreat, at Heather's Crafty Life Retreat, from my secret sister, and I have not broke into this yet, but there are colors in here that will work. These greens, not so much this mint type color green, but these browns will work, the yellow. So there's a lot of pieces in here that will work with my kit. I also have the um, frames and tags, and I would show you all the pieces, but because I need to go quickly and get to cutting up my pieces, that, oops. So here is kind of a close-up look. But here are, they all fell out. But the, again, same thing. There's pieces in here that will not work, but there are pieces that will work. And no, I have no idea what my photographs I'm going to document, but obviously they are going to be outdoors. It would make sense, right? So I'll just put that in there. Sorry for the crinkling, crinkling noise. I'll just set that over there. Then I have another ephemera pack. Same thing. It's a little bit different. Um, forgot this one is it's all from the same collection oh frames and tags and ephemera so that's frames and tags then I went through my stash and I guess I was in the mood for craft type paper and tags doing outdoor so I just grabbed a few and then a few others um, little pocket type sheets I don't think that black will work, but these were all together like this. So instead of just going through it, I just grabbed it from my stash like that. So there's elements in there. Same thing that I could use. A couple dolies. And then some of my pieces. So I have lots of wood veneer going on here. Lots. Way more than I need but I need that variety of selection. So again, I'm thinking outdoors, I'm thinking autumn, but I have some words, flowers, hearts, leaves, cameras, cars, cars, people. See, even a button, but that's the wrong color, but I can flip it and ink it. So those are wood veneers. Then I have a couple of chipboards that I can paint or leave white. Again, these are old, close to my heart products. So I have that. Then I have this stuff just sitting on my desk, left over from other kits, uh, mainly Vicki Boot, and I used a lot of her products last month in the month of September. Thought some of this stuff would go, so instead of putting it away, so a lot of this right here, you can tell that's all Vicki Booten. That's just right there. All Vicki Booten right there. And see, that's brown. I could use that side, or I could use that and. I could use that card. Those were from Tim Holtz. See, there's another one. It's got the letter D. All righty. Then I brought in a little bit of cork, twine, here's some more cork, and if you can see, I have some enamel dots in colors that I thought would go. Sorry for the glare, it's just easier if I do it that way. And there are some that are stuck right there, can you see that? And then I have some thread I brought in, green, gold, and orange, and then I picked this up a while ago and had not used it and used it. I found it at Walmart. Again, I found this when I was getting my gift for my secret sister at Heather's Crafty Life Retreat. And so I don't know if I can add those, but those are cool. And that is my kit, ladies. All right, now we're going to get started on cutting up my paper. So pattern paper one. 
It's going to be my inspiration piece. We are going to cut this paper up 9 by 12. So let's get rid of the branding strip. We are going to cut that. All right. Problem is I can't. So we're going to push it along here. So we have to go 9 by 12. And the way the flowers are going, because you do have to pay attention to the direction, either way, it can work either way. So thank you that that's going to work. So there's my 9 by 12 paper. And then we're going to do 1 and a half by 12. Do one and a half by twelve. All right, guys. So that's easy peasy. That's pattern paper one. So I'm just going to place it to the side, and I know I'm working from the top up. Okay, pattern paper two. What am I going to do? I think I'm going to move to the wood grain. This one is going to be, see I'm trying to decide here. Doo, doo, doo. If I do the six, this one's going to, it's supposed to be seven by twelve, four by Okay, we'll just do it. I have no idea how this is going to come together, but I have that bonus paper. All right, so this is 7 by 12. Then we're going to do 4 by 12. Four by 12. Four by 12. And then that leaves us 1 by 12. So that is pattern paper two. Pattern paper three is going to be, we are going to use this one. Let's see. This one we are doing six by twelve. Same thing. This pattern here, I can go either direction. Doesn't matter. So I don't have to worry about the direction. Then this is these are going to be six by six. Okay. So this one is going to be six. by six. That is pattern paper three. All right. Pattern paper four. These We are cutting up four. We're going to have, I'm sorry, we're going to have three sheets, four by twelve strips. So there's one. And there is two. So that makes three. There we go. Now I've got to write down the trickiest, um, the tip and trick is to write down your papers so that you'll remember when you go mix match because there's a whole guide of what papers you're to mix match. So you take paper from pattern, you know, from pattern paper one, two, and three. So this is my paper that I'll use and I will write down like pattern paper four is this red and polka dot. Pattern paper three is this hexagon. 
Then the wood grain is pattern paper two. And then this flower is pattern paper one. All right, guys. Like I said before, I will have the links listed below of the Mini Kit Monday Ladies. Let's get this over here. Janet with RTS Scrapbooking. We post on Monday of each week. So be sure to subscribe, like, and hit that bell notification button so that you will receive notice every time we post. I know we post on Monday, it's a no-brainer, but you don't know what time we might be posting. So, and hit, when you hit the bell button, hit the little arrow going down and you have choices like to receive all notifications. If sometimes if you just hit the bell button, it will not give you all of the notifications. So you have to make sure that you are selecting all notifications. All right, I am so excited to create layouts with this kit. If you would like to play along with us, we have a Facebook group. That link is also listed below in the description box. And do the same thing that we are doing. Snap a photograph of the kit you put together and post it over there in the October album. And then once a week, snap a photograph of the layout that you completed. And guess what? You will have an entry for every time you upload a photograph, up to four, I should say. If you do five layouts, wonderful. We would love to see them, but just know that you won't, will only receive four entries to receive a curated mini kit from one of us Mini Kit Monday ladies. Or you will receive, you could possibly receive a gift certificate. I am filming this about two weeks ahead of time so that's why I've got that caveat you could receive um, a kit or a gift card and I and we also have an inspiration piece as well which I followed some of the colors in that inspiration piece which I will have the link now listed for you. All right we'll see you next time or I'm sorry I'll have a photograph listed for you. All right please follow us. Please follow RTS Scrapbooking. We would love to have you as a subscriber. I would love to have you here at each of the ladies' channels and over at our Facebook group. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Bye!